Hello everyone, good to see you again on this channel. Today I will tell you and show you how to use the editing mode and how to make your first model. If you are new to Block Epic, I recommend watching my previous video on how to get started. After we appear in the world, we move towards the table with the large blue board. Click on the hammer and select build bricks. To start building, you need to click the left mouse button two times. A page with all details opens before us, but before choosing them, I advise you to turn off the light mode, because in it we have only 141 details available, but if we turn it off, we will get 331 details for building our models, and after that, we can choose any detail from the list. After we have chosen one of them, we are taken back to the space where we will create models. As you can see, there are many different buttons on our screen. Let's start with the arrows on the left side. You can use them by clicking the mouse on the screen and WASD buttons on your keyboard. The purpose of these buttons is quite simple. Using W and S, you move the selected object along the Y axis. And using A and D, you move it along the X axis. Also, you probably noticed two cubes inside these arrows. If you fully clicked on them, your parts will be able to interwine with each other. Although the left arrows are responsible for rotating the object in all possible directions. They can also be used by pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard. Also, on the right side you will see the last details that you have placed, and you can select them again without going back to the list of all details. Go to the bottom button bar, use the trash can to delete an object. To change the material color and property of the object, use this button. Here you can choose anything you want, and you can also choose your own color by clicking on the free dot sign below the colors. While the free dot sign under materials are responsible for changing the transparency. Use this button if you want to combine all the same objects and edit them together. Use this button to select all objects with the same color. By clicking on this paper tool, you can copy the color and material of another object and apply it to the selected one. This button has kind of a mirror effect. The angle of your view affects the rotation of the object. This button copies the selected object. This button locks objects starting from two objects. Which means that when you lock two objects, you cannot edit each of them separately. And the last button. When you click on it, three new buttons appear. The first of which is responsible for selecting several objects at once. The second button is responsible for selecting all objects in the space. The third button is quite necessary. Thanks to it, you will be able to select only the objects you need by simply clicking on them. We discussed all the buttons, but I will tell you how to make it easier to create models, in order to avoid using a lot of different movements, for example. If you have meshed two or more objects and want to edit only one, just click and hold the left mouse button on it. And I must warn you that objects cannot be locked. An equally important function is to go back a few steps using 
Ctrl plus Z. I think everyone is familiar with it. You can also use the arrow in the upper left corner for this function. And that's it. Now you're ready to conquer the world of Block Epic with your created models. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.